So I'm going to talk about my first workout in my new fitness room and then the workout I've done yesterday at the end of the video over uh, Sunday. I've done this on the Monday, which was my first proper session of the track season. Exciting. So I started off with deadlifts, quite light. Just trying to get the technique right. If you have any tips to help me, that'd be ideal. Next up was um, weighted sit-ups. I used 5k for this. That was of 20, and the deadlifts were of um, 8. So I'll do 8 deadlifts to 20 sit-ups. I'll do that same repetition three times. I'll use that structure for uh, one other time during this workout. Then it was um, calf raises, but not off like a box or anything but it was the same way as the deadlifts I don't really know what I'm doing, know what I'm, doing. I'm going to do a bit more research I'm not scared if anyone has any more tips feel free to share in the comments please I'll use my ab roller next I'll do 5 times 2 perhaps then I'll do 5 but I'll do that twice with a little break in between making sure I'm going all the way I'm going off my knees with these ab rolls I use the same structure I did before doing this exercise and something else I'll go through in a second and then doing that three times. Next up was my actual calf strength and conditioning as shown now. Um, I did do a video about these before, about my plans for actually like this early on when my child's made. Then one on my Tuesday evening workout. So much I'll have that now. I need 25 of these. So 25 of these, 8 calf raises, I'll do each of that 3 times. After that set, they will move on to the next calf exercise that I used to recover my, from my plantar fasciitis. Once again in the other videos about my workouts and recovery. So basically you hold it, hold a band on your like pads of foot and you put it towards you and you hold that for 30 seconds each. Doing it twice on each foot. The next part is rolling your foot with a it's like a spiky ball, focusing on the arch where my plantar fasciitis came from. I couldn't really put the video on because there's quite a bit of quite a bit of view of my foot. You understand? And now to finish, I just rolled up my calves. I'll do this after every training session I do. Occasionally, I'll use my um, massage gun, but this wasn't wasn't as an intense workout. I'll call it as some other things I've done. Then after a running session, like a track session, I use a massage gun and a roller. But this was quite moderate. So just a roller. So I told you at the start I'd go over my first solo running session of the track season that I'd done the day before this, my first workout in my fitness room. So it was a mile warm up. Then I'm doing some of my exercises using a band, not the ones in this video, in another video. Check it out on my Tuesday evening workout video. It's 11 minutes, but it's just intro music for the whole thing. It's not too bad, to be fair. But after that, I've done my um, a few strides, obviously. Warming up still. I don't, I've done my actual warm-up, of course. Shake out, shake out a little bit. And then the actual session was five 400s with half of that jog recovery, so 200 meter jog recovery. And then it was eight um, eight times the length of the football field, roughly 100 meters, I hope, maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less. Not too sure, with about like 20 seconds rest in between, going quite hard. And then jog home, stretches, recovery, and a mile. Um, warm down with a weight vest on it's quite it's going from like a low intensity high intensity low intensity to gradual intensity if you get what i mean decent 